Hey, what up, everybody? It's your homegirl. Um, I wanted to come up on here and talk about some really special things with you guys today that I, I really want to discuss with everybody. Um, my last video, you know, I took it down because um, I showed one of the pictures from the photo shoot from the New Yorker, and I shouldn't have done that. They asked me to take it down. So, Loka wants to apologize to the New Yorker, you know, for doing something stupid. I don't know. I didn't even think about it, but I'll be posting it back up after the article comes out. Um... I know I cut my bangs and they're all uneven and crap, but whatever. There's more. There's other things I need to talk about with you guys. Um, I actually received a letter from one of my viewers. You know, they're a local supporter and everything. And um, they're about 14 or 15. I ain't going to say the, the, the name of them. Um, but they have wrote me and told me that their parents abused them and that they didn't know what to do. And I told them to go, you know, to a teacher or, or to a... Um, a um, a counselor and go and tell them and so that they did and they said that they gave them um a um what the hell is it um a foster care thing letter or something and that the parents had to sign it and then they would take action and this person was really scared because they didn't want their parent to see it or something and get beat for it you know so it brought to my attention um just the fact that child abuse and I really don't know what to do I want to help this person that's writing me but, like, I'm not a professional in this, and I don't really know what to say, you know, and I'm really hurt, and I'm sad, because I went on line right now. I'm about to read this to you guys from the internet and let you guys know what it says. Um, I'm seriously disturbed right now, so I apologize, um, but this needs to be said, and everybody needs to hear this. Um, this is some, some statistics from 2002 says each week Child Protective Service agencies throughout the United States receive more than 50,000 reports of suspected child abuse or neglect and in 2002, 2.6 million reports concerning the welfare of approximately 4.5 million children were made. In approximately two-thirds, which is 67% of those cases, the information provided in the report by the report was sufficient to prompt an assessment or investigation. As a result, approximately 800, 896,000 children were found to have been victims of abuse or neglect. An average of more than 2,450 children a day are being abused or neglected. More than 60% of the victims experience neglect um, and 20% experience sexual abuse. Um, that's shocking to me, you know? Um, an average of nearly four children, you guys. Four children, this is just in the United States, die every single day from abuse or neglect. And that's not even right. These, are, these statistics ain't even right because so many cases go, you know, without being reported. And so many kids go through this and not tell anybody and not get help. I'm sorry, I'm really upset, but, you know, I'm just thinking, I've never been through anything like that, and, you know, my life is really, really good, my family life, and I can't imagine going through something like that, and to have somebody write me and ask me for help, I just don't know, you know, it's really just changing me right now, it's making me really upset and everything, um, there's some more stuff I want to read you guys. Children of all ages experience the abuse and neglect, but the youngest children are the most vulnerable. Children younger than one years old accounted for 41% of all abuse-related deaths reported. And three-quarters, which is 76% of those that were killed, are younger than four years old. That means like 76% of these children that are dying every year from abuse. 76% of them are under 4 years old. That's scandalous. You know, how are you going to go and do that? I'm sorry. But, like, I got young cousins and stuff. I got friends with little babies. And I just, I can't imagine hurting something so innocent and beautiful and just real like that, you know? Um, you know, um, it says that mostly the kids that are sexually abused are the ones that really don't talk about it because they have feelings of shame and, and they're scared. And um, I just want to say, if you know, you're one of these people that's experiencing this or doing it, you need to stop now. That's straight scandalous. If you're out there beating children and shit, you know what? You better go and pick on somebody your own damn size, you know? What the hell is wrong with you? What are, you, what are some of you people thinking? And if this is going on in your home or you know somebody that's, that's going through this, you need to report it. And you need to do something about it because 
it's not fair. Children, you know, they they don't know what's happening a lot of the time and they need help. Um there's um this number that you can call up over here. I gotta find it really quick. Um I'm so upset about this, like seriously, I just I'm shocked at it and I need to know, you know, what I should do to help this person. You guys, don't overfill my mailbox, please, because it takes me forever just to check my messages up here on YouTube. Just please leave it in the comments. It's easier for me to go scroll down the comments and read everything rather than having to open up each individual mail. Um, It says that, you know, not every state has a number that you can call. You can get that number. You can call one 800 for a child that's 1-800-422-4453 um call you know if you if you need to report suspected abuse or you know you are being abused or something like that please call and get that help um there's um another thing up on here that i wanted to to read to you guys um there's this story that i found when I was reading this, and it's really, really disturbing. If, you know, you don't want to listen to this anymore, then you should probably stop watching this right now. But, um, there's a story of Lati McGee, I guess. Lati McGee and Cornelius Abraham or something like that. It's the most unbelievable story about child abuse and cruelty. It happened in 1987, and it was a 20-year-old lady and her 40-year-old boyfriend, and, um, they spent the summer beating their small, their their child with their fists and burning him with cigarettes and an iron. They were drink, they were dunking his legs into boiling water and depriving him of food and water, sticking him repeatedly with sewing needles and wrapping a clothing line around his little ankles and hanging him upside down in the closet for the night to muffle his his cries. And the couple would sometimes stuff a rag in his mouth to shut him up. And they would keep him in a closet. While all these other little kids were out there playing around like, this shit is real, you guys, it's happening. Everywhere, I don't need, you know, they're only finding out about a couple of cases. And I don't want this person to be going through this and coming to me for help and me not being able to help them. I'm sorry if I sound crazy right now. And if I'm really upset, but, like, I don't know hell else to get this word out and to remind people that there's serious crap going on in the world you guys that you know we gotta come together to fix and stuff I know I come up on here and you know I trash talk and stuff but I'm simply giving my opinion you guys I'm giving my opinion about other people and I have every right to do that you know I ain't out there beating people to death and stuff this shit is happening and if you know you're so concerned about me saying mean things to people, maybe you should be concerned about these children that, you know, are being sexually abused and having things happen. This happened to a four-year-old boy. You know, um, they, um, they put potato peels on his eyes and, and, you know, tied his hands up and they hung him by his feet in the closet. Um, Complaints of having problems swallowing. He was telling them that he couldn't swallow. And that he was in pain because he had a broken collarbone and a, a, a broken... I'm sorry, you guys. This is, like, so upsetting right now for me to read this. Um, He had a broken pelvis and they didn't listen. And the next morning... They were watching TV and they took him out the closet and it didn't matter because he died the night before. And uh, they said that he died from a se severe blow to the head. And, uh, you know, when they found him, they picked up his t-shirt and they uncovered a chest of raw skin where, where they had ripped his flesh off of his body. I'm sorry, you guys, but I don't know what to tell this person, and I'm really upset about this right now, and, um, just know that it's real and it's happening. I'm sorry, I really gotta go, you guys. I'm really sorry right now. Much love.